All right, we get asked a lot of times, do I need an LS swap radiator? So we're gonna kind of tell you the difference. The, the quick answer is no, you do not need an LS swap radiator. Does it make your life easier? Yes. So if you look on this one, this is a uh, 78 GMC Jimmy, basically C10. This does not have an LS swap radiator in it, and I'll show you what that means. If you look over here, your lower hose will still go on the passenger side here. The, on LS swap, your upper radiator hose will be in the tank right here. So that'll keep everything nice and clean for your upper radiator hose to be a nice short run from the water pump to the upper hose. Right now, as you can see, it swings over here and goes to the driver's side because this is a traditional style radiator. So all that means is you gotta use the hose that crosses over. Secondly is your steam port. We have the steam port on this one running into the threaded heater hose bunk. This one happens to be threaded so you can run a barred fitting in there and run your steam hose into it right into the radiator. Your LS swap version will have a separate port there to run the, the uh, steam port line right in. Because typically your radiator hoses on an LS swap are gonna come straight from the water pump right in the heater. They're not gonna run into the radiator. So you won't need that port. This one's threaded ready to go. If we look on this 99 Tahoe, same thing applies. This is a non-LS swap radiator. The difference you'll see here is the steam port hose. Where is it here? It is actually, here, I'm we'll gonna show you. It's actually underneath. So what we did is you can buy this collar. That'll slip into the radiator hose and run your steam hose right into that. So not as clean looking, but it works. The reason we did that is because on this particular radiator, the heater port is not threaded. It is just a large bung and we'll show you it's just capped off. So there's no way to run a barb fitting into that heater port right here. So it's just capped off. So that's why we did it that way on this one. Same thing applies. Upper radiator hose will swing over, come over to the driver's side. So if we had an LS swap style radiator, it'd just be a short run right here. Look a little cleaner. This one would be sitting up here. So that's the main difference. Does a traditional radiator work? Yes. Do you have to run an LS swap radiator? No. But does it make life easier and cleaner looking? Yes. So that's kind of the difference. Of course, we're showing you two traditional style radiators here. And again, the LS swap just means the upper hose is shifted over to the passenger side and you got a steam port vent. So hope this helps with a lot of your buying decisions and purchasing a radiator. Call us if you have any questions, 480-420-8175. Thanks guys.